Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of A Quiet Place. Uh, this is where we start with Emily Blunt, uh, John Krasinski. Uh, okay, I was looking forward to seeing this movie. I saw the trailers like a million times, uh, you know, when you go to the movies and, of course, online. And I was definitely interested in seeing the story. It's basically a story about a family that's forced to basically live in silence because any noise brings these mysterious creatures. We don't know where they came from, where they are, but they're all over the place. And you can tell just from seeing the trailer, like there's nobody around that and you can tell from the movie that there's like basically people has been people have been wiped out, okay, and there's just very little people around, okay, and there's one family, this family is uh basically forced to live in silence. They live out on a farm, okay, and they're forced to live in silence because these creatures, whenever there's any kind of sound, they come immediately and snatch you up and of course kill you and whatever. Okay, so this family, uh, this mom, dad, brother, and sister, okay, they forced, you know, forced to live in silence. And this movie really, uh, this movie, I didn't realize this at the time. This movie was, of course, written by John Krasinski and directed, he directed the movie, actually. And, of course, him and Emily Blunt are married in real life, of course. And, again, this movie is super intense, <laughs> of course, and, of course, very little dialogue in this movie, of course, because, obviously, they have to, you know, there's, there's a little, you know, of course there's dialogue in it, but of course it's very minimal, of course, because, you know, you basically have to operate in, in silence because of the creature. Any kind of noise, like that brings these creatures that, you know, these creatures <laughs> that come and snatch you up and kill you. Okay, so they have to, you know, like I said, live in silence. And again, great atmosphere, uh, great direction, I think, from John Krasinski. I think this is his first film, I'm assuming. But he did a really masterful job of keeping the tension and suspense up in this movie and of course I give props to the young kid actors as well in this there's an older sister uh, uh, Reagan uh, Abbott that uh, and the actress who played her was absolutely fantastic uh, her character and I have to tell you this is a minus four her character is deaf you know she's deaf so she has a hearing aid of course and you have a younger brother uh, Marcus again there's reasons, but I'll, I don't want to spoil it, okay? But there's something that happens early in the movie, okay, that kind of affects, of course, the whole family primarily, of course it does, but it really affects uh, Reagan, okay, that character. Well, if you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But again, I, you know, again, they have to convey a lot but through sign language and facial acting, I guess, in this movie, and they really... Uh, do a great bang up job with the again the script is tight the movie is just long enough again the movie is I think about an hour and thirty five minutes so it's just enough and the you know it's not over long and you don't get all this you know you don't know exactly what how these creatures came or whatever but they're here and you're in their world and they basically show you how these this family goes about you know living their daily life and they have their problems and their issues and stuff but at the end of the day their family and it's really great acting I think from the, the whole cast again particularly I like the young actress who played the older daughter I thought she was really really good and again there's something that happens in the movie that I don't want to spoil early in the movie that really affects them going forward and they just drop you in the beginning of the movie they let me just say this again another spoiler I guess in a way they drop you in the middle of what's happening and then it just advances through you know they jump through time a little a couple of times in the movie but Again, the gist of it is this family whole, trying to hold it together and, you know, be silent and survive in this crazy, desolate world, okay, where they where they have to, like I say, maintain that silence and still try to be a normal family. And the tension is fantastic. And, again, really great direction from John Krasinski, exactly. And you, you feel for this family and you feel, you know, emotions for this family. It really got to me towards, I don't want to spoil it, but there's... There's a, there's a couple of just, you know, moments in this movie that really uh, resonated with me a lot. And I really enjoyed this movie a lot. And I can highly recommend it. Definitely see this movie a lot. And again, I think John Krasinski did a great job doing, directing this movie. Great tension between, you know, in the movie. Great atmosphere. Okay. Love the setup. Love the direction. Love the acting from the kids. And again, like I said, they had to do a lot of, you know, sign language, a lot of face acting. Uh, in this movie because the dialogue is minimal in this movie but it it just adds to the atmosphere and it's just absolutely fantastic and I love 
this movie a lot. One of the best movies I've seen this year. So I'm going to give uh, A Quiet Place an 8.5. I really enjoyed it a lot, and I can't highly recommend it. And definitely uh, want to see this movie again. I'm definitely going to buy this movie on Blu-ray. It's just a fantastic movie. Uh, again, good casting. You know, nice, lightly written, good direction. Perfect. I, I enjoy this movie a lot. Anyway, let me know what you think of A Quiet Place. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram and the description box as well as my other channel. Paul's views and opinions, please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.